What's up, enthusiasts? Today I've got some more 5 vs. 5 gameplay footage for you. At our most recent event, one of the teams was short players, so I subbed in to play with them for one round, and I used one of my strifes. Now, I put in the prototype containment crew cage. It is a metal cage with a 42 millimeter crush rate, and it is currently fitted with some new Kraken motors and some Bulldog flywheels. It gives a great sound, some nice performance, and was pretty well fitting for this event, hitting between 130 and 140 currently. I'm going to see what I can do to tweak that a little bit more, but let's get right on into this game. At the beginning here, you'll see I'm on mid-duty, so I pick up that middle point, take a few shots to push one of their players to cover, and I like to stress communication and how important it is. So we're trying to keep our communication up, especially because we are not a group of players that has played much together. There are two subs in this team. Now here, I actually pause when I should not have. I should have run through on this to ensure that tag happened and there was a, a positive trade in our favor. However, I hesitated there because the darts, I realized, were not going quite where I wanted to instead of committing fully. Now, something I realized as uh, the game kind of progresses and my shots get a little bit more on target as the game goes is that my trigger pull is actually right, too harsh. And uh, I'm actually kind of torquing the blaster slightly when I'm pulling the trigger and that's shifting the blaster off target and sending darts in various directions that are not where I want them to go. So I kind of try to adjust and, and, and get uh, a feel for this new setup they haven't run in a game before. Uh, so here we have control of mid and we don't really need to progress up or push further out or overextend. We just need to hold and make favorable trades, or even one-to-one -one trades. One-for-one -one trades are favorable. And here, I noticed that there are no players left in their field. Two of them are spawning, and they're spawning on the far right, so they could not get back to me before I could take their spawn point. So I was able to do that and get a little bit of time, probably a good solid 20 to 30 seconds before uh, one of their players door, spawns back in and regains control of that. So it's just some extra time to give us a nice buffer. Now you may have heard me yell pick up darts. That is wildly important in this game type because you can quickly burn Chicken through right, your allotment back. of darts however your team has uh, divvied them up. So being able to have that freedom to pick up some darts, put them in a pouch or your pocket or whatever uh, for when you have a moment of downtime or you're sent back to spawn you can top off some mags so you're not always running out of darts and you can stay relevant in the game. Here we've got them boxed in pretty well. I'm just taking a few shots here and there to kind of keep their attention focused and prevent them from feeling free to move up or adjust their position on the field. And our team's got a pretty aggressive line up on this middle diagonal that allows us to really react to whatever this team does to spawn in. Uh, so we've got them in a bit of a rough position as long as we can react accordingly. To rushes like that. One back near the point. Now, unfortunately, one of the side effects of this game uh, type when it comes to recording footage when I have the, the cam blaster mounted is that I'm often hiding behind cover and the blaster is behind that cover. So you're not quite yep. seeing what That's I'm seeing. Well. You're seeing the blaster hidden behind cover until I'm ready to peek out and take a couple of shots. So uh, I try to relay what I can for you, but there are going to be these one, moments one, of seeing a lot of the back of cover while we discuss and sort things out on the field. Left left. So the other team, the, the Mavericks with Mavericks is their name, is they are trying to push out and they're getting some tags, but we're able to contain nice them without getting completely wiped, which is really the big thing. Now, if they tried to spawn in all five at once, they may have a better shot at this. However, they're coming in two and three at a time, which really doesn't help their cause. If they're gonna spend so much time out anyways, they may as well stay and spawn together. Figure something out, talk things through, take an extra 10 seconds, five seconds, sort something out, wait for the next person, and have a coordinated spawn that allows you a better chance of breaking through that enemy line. Uh, but as it is, we're able to just call things out, keep our eyes open, focus 
each of us on a section of the map and really lock things down. We have our Caliburns and, and other Springers in the backfield there. And I feel comfortable enough here to run back to a further more secure position, uh, drop my blaster and reload with the darts that I've been scavenging. I can still hear my teammates calling and, and letting us know what's going on. So I'm confident that if something is going wrong, I can pick my blaster up and quickly go to help them out. But these moments, since I haven't been tagged out since the beginning of the game, these are important to allow me to reload, refill and get ready for the next engagement, that last minute as we're heading oh, in. <laughs> I startle myself with a little bit of a surprise there from a teammate. As we head in, it looks like the other team is actually trying to coordinate a solid spawn together to recapture this right point, side. which is Three the left. right thing for them to do. Over here, I try my best. I realize he's not the biggest threat. That is the biggest threat coming in close to me. I'm able to take up two and three tags. Uh, here, I do stop to pause two. because Tyler, right in front of me with the Spring Thunder shotgun, his tag or his shot tagged me, but I tagged him before the darts or the rounds in this case uh, were fired off from his blaster. So I went through and made sure checking the footage as it is very important to me to get these things right. Uh, so we have a rule that says as long as the tag happens before the rounds are fired off, they don't count. So in this case, I was able to rattle that shot off just in time, but it was still something, like I said, I value that integrity and making sure everything flows smoothly. But this ended up being a good victory for our team and a lot of a, a really fun match to play in. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the action, the style of competitive nerf. Uh, you can definitely look forward to more of these videos in the future. I thoroughly enjoy doing them. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.